Hello, I'm Battlescar1313, and today we're going to go over Dagger and Iku and see exactly which character is better as a white mage. Because in Final Fantasy IX, which is pretty famous, there is two white magic users and summoners combined, which is pretty much two units in one Final Fantasy. But first of all, we're going to go through equipment. Um, usually, they share the best optimized um, equipment. She would be the circuit bracer, rubber suit, and protect ring, and so would Iku. But what uh, is different about both of them is they both can fight over the tiger racket. Yep, they can both equip the tiger racket. So if you're going to be using this white mage setup, it's best probably to use one or the other. Um, because they're all going to want that ultimate tiger racket. Their uh, second ability is just like 36 and 35 attack power. And tiger, tiger racket is 45. Now that that's out of the way, that equipment is done. We're gonna look at all the statuses. So, so we're gonna go over the summons, magic, um, and abilities that they can learn. Seeing that you can learn all of them in a single playthrough. And we're gonna go over to the ability section to cover this, section, this part. Naturally, she has more HP and MP. Well, Dagger has more HP and MP and ability points than Iku does, but that could be nerfed. Um, Shiva, Ifrit, Ramoth, Viathan, and Ark all, all elemental. Atomotus, or Atomus, he is gravity, so it reduces HP by like half or Something. Odin is an instant kill to all enemies if it lands, and Bahamut is non-elemental damage to all enemies, making him pretty close to just physical damage. So Shiva is ice, if it is fire, Ramph is lightning, Atomos is gravity, Odin is death. Leviathan is water, Bahamut is non elemental, and Ark is shadow damage. Now, with the summons here, we have Carbuncle, which adds reflect to all party members. This could be good if you're fighting a wizard of some sort. Then we have Fenrir, which is Cloud's bike, Final Fantasy VII. But in this, it's a summon and it causes earth elemental damage to all. Next, we have Phoenix, which causes fire damage and revives parties members from KO status, which is usually in all Final Fantasies. You get Phoenix quite often in these games. And then Madden, which is holy elemental damage to all enemies. Now, Dagger has the following some um, spells that Iku can, can never learn. She has Scan, she has Confusion, Berserk, and Blind. Those are the spells that Dagger has that Iku doesn't. So let's go to her and see what spells she has that Dagger can never learn. Well, she has Region, Full Life, Asuna, Haste, Dispel, Might, Jewel, and Holy. So Holy costs 36 MP and is a, t a single target, and Madin is holy damage on all enemies for 54 MP, so depends on how much MP you want to spend. But it's the fact to note that 
Holy is something that Dagger can never learn because Dagger with white magic can I don't I don't believe she can hurt anything with her spells. Um, maybe with Berserk or something, but Yep. It's mostly summons for her when it comes to damaging. Next auto abilities. They all share the same auto abilities except for Dagger has Chemist, which Iku can never learn. And she also has a Odin Sword, which she can never learn. And I believe that just gives a chance for Dagger to cast Death on her attacks. Uh, Chemist doubles the potential uh, or potency of additional items. So she can be a good healer with items as well as magic. The abilities that Iku has that Dagger can never learn is MP plus 10%. So they can both learn MP plus 20%. So with both of them equipped, she still ends up with almost 30 more MP. So Iku can end up having more than Dagger, if used right. She also has Guardian Maw, which, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems kind of like a trigger when Iku gets hurt. Maw can show up and kind of like fight, like a summon. Now this is very important because Guardian Maw kind of acts like the next subject we're going to go over and that is the trances. It kind of acts like Dagger's trance in a, in a sense. Um, Dagger's trance is if she summons, she gets to recast that summon if she never takes a turn. Or at least once a turn. Um, Iku gets double white magic wishes good with Vivi's double black magic, so if you're, if you're using Iku as the white mage, you got two double casters, but uh, Dagger is unique because she can take on enemies all by herself. Watch how it does. I'm, not, I'm sure you don't need a description of how double white magic works, you can cast two spells. But uh, we're going to come in and we're going to get all trans up.
don't use dagger. And she can take care of everything. It'll be a victory. All my characters are level 99, but uh they ain't got vaccine no one. Or uh, not vaccine, but uh virus. So now you see the power between dagger and Iku. Um Double white magic's not bad because you can cast double full lives if all your characters are almost dead, or you can just manage up and cast Phoenix. She does have a lot more damage and white magic spells. And so it's up to you. What do you think is better, Dagger or Iku? With all the evidence that I've given, which one do you think is the best white mage user? And so, uh, White Mage slash Summoner. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.